Good morning and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. Now the tug of war over garbage dumping continues. The villagers of Mandur are unrelenting in their demand to not allow garbage trucks to enter their village. Now, several of them were seen standing outside the landfill. Meanwhile, a few garbage trucks dumped the waste near Kodige Halli. Now since Section 144 is imposed in Mandur, a few trucks did manage to dump the garbage there as well. But this riled up the residents, especially in Kodiga Halli, when they saw the trucks dumping garbage in their vicinity. In fact, this is day five now. Uh, the Mandu residents are still adamant in their decision that no garbage from Bengaluru will be allowed to dump in their village. Now, considering the fact uh, that uh, the BBMP has been struggling to dump garbage over there in spite of Section 144, we're told that few garbage trucks did manage to dump waste. The BBMP has decided to do something else. In fact, the garbage contractors are dumping garbage now near Kurige Halli, and this has riled up the residents. And you can clearly see them over there arguing with the officials. In fact, uh, yesterday, the Upaluka Yukta also had a visit of the Mandur landfill. Now, such is the problem that uh, yesterday with police security, 40 trucks of waste dumped uh, garbage at Mandur. Moving on, well, there's a new twist in the ADGP Coffee Gate episode. News 9 has accessed the FIR copy of the case. According to the complaint filed by the woman, it says that the ADGP clicked her pictures between 9.30 and 10.45. But the pictures recovered from the ADGP's mobile show that the pictures were taken at 10.47 a.m. and 10.48. Now, according to the ADGP's statement, the mobile phone was forcefully taken away from him and could have been used to click the pictures. The CID believes that there is a possibility of someone using the mobile phone to frame the ADGP. The investigations are also going on with regards to the discrimination case filed by the ADGP against five police officers. In fact, uh, there's a new twist in the ADGP Coffee Gate episode. News 9 has secured the FIR copy of the case and according to the complaint filed by the woman, it says that the ADGP clicked her pictures between 9.30 and 10.45. But the photos recovered from the ADGP's mobile show that the pictures were taken at 10.47 and 10.48. Now, according to the ADGP's own statement, the mobile phone was forcefully taken away from him and could have been used to click the pictures. The CID now believes that there is a possibility of someone else using the mobile phone to frame the ADGP. Investigations are also going on with regards to the discrimination case filed by the ADGP against five senior IPS police officers and other officers. In fact, as of now, two cases are going on simultaneously. One case filed by the two women who claim that the ADGP and a coffee joint I clicked obscene and objectionable photos of them while they were sipping coffee. The other case was filed by the former ADGP of KSRP that he was and has been discriminated by senior IPS police officers just because he is a Dalit. Now, monkeys are known for the mischief and tantrums they throw, but a place near Manglo has a different story to narrate. In Krita Yuga, it was called Raudragiri. In Treta Yuga, it was called Gajanadagiri. And in Dwapara, it was called Bhimashaila. And now in the Kali Yuga, it is called Karinja. These are the names of the mountain that you see on your screen. In all the four yugas, Lord Ishwara has been worshipped here. 
According to Hindu mythology, these mountains have a very sacred position. There are also a lot of legends corroborating these facts. There are also signs of Pandavas meeting Lord Rama in these mountains. A sage by name Ravdragiri performed penance here on these mountains in Krita Yuga, hence the name Ravdragiri. Similarly, a demon by name Gajasura also performed penance here, hence the name Gajanadagiri. Muru Keregalundu, Undu Gada Dirta, Undu Ungusta Dirta, Undu Jan Dirta and Deli, really Tirta Bhavi, the Tirta Snamadon Tabavi Galun Dirundu, Prasidin to Dere Ikshetra, Nakuga Ritun Deltare, Duapare, Bima Shailas Chan Dirvan Madre, Duapare Gadali, Yundu Gudege, Yundu. Bhima Shaila and the Rasari to Bhima Dere, Pandavu, Ilibandu, Ishwar Dev and Ara de Martaidru, Adagana, Ilibhima Shaila and the Rasari to. The lakes that cut through the mountains also have history. Legends have it that these lakes were created by Pandavas. The most sacred lake called Gadatirtha was created by Bhima's mace. During Amavasya, it is believed that people come here and take a bath which delivers them of all their diseases. Another lake, Janu Tirtha, is believed to have taken birth from Bhima's knees. The holy waters of this lake are used to anoint the images of Lord Shiva and Parvati. There are two temples, one for Lord Shiva and the other for his wife, Goddess Parvati. When Sita was abducted, monkeys had come here and tried to uproot boulders but they failed. After rescuing Sita, Lord Rama came to these mountains and left the monkeys here to serve Lord Shiva. It seems Lord Rama also instructed the monkeys to eat or have the prasada of Lord Shiva. Even to this day, a special puja called the Vanara Annasevi is done to Shiva. When prayed to Lord Karinjeshwara, it is believed that the monkey menace in and around the area is reduced. The Nebedya is first offered to Lord Shiva, then to these monkeys and to the people at last. Every afternoon, these monkeys from different places assemble at the temple and are in advance. They feed on the offering of the people and pose no problem to them. Once the food is offered to Lord Shiva, they wait patiently for the food to be given to them and once it is given, they disappear into the forest. This place is in Bantwal Taluk and attracts a lot of tourists. It also happens to be a picturesque place. Rajesh Puttur for News 9, Mangalore. Now it's not every time that the government does something that benefits the people of the state. Here's a report on a case where the government started out doing a good deed, but later lapsed into old, inefficient ways. Year after year, excitement soars for students as they go for CET counselling. But at the Karwar CET cell, it is the opposite. Two years ago, CET cells were created in 13 districts in a bid to help engineering and medical aspirants who had to travel to distant places. Karwar 2 was one of the new centres. 2012 was the first time counselling was done at Science Centre in Karwar. In 2013, much to the despair of students, the venue was changed to Girimaji Sale Engineering College owned by Satish Sale. This year too, the counselling is taking place in the same centre. This college is located in Gorivadi, which is 15 kilometres away from Karwar. There is no proper bus connectivity to the place. Many basic necessities such as food and water are also lacking at the centre, which is in an isolated area. There is a hue and cry over the location of this centre as the shift has inconvenienced students and parents who are made to travel all the way in auto rickshaws. City Council is not a good thing. ಕಾರ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ಕೆ for students from 11 taluks of Karwar and Haveri, this centre is the closest. People coming from other places have to travel an extra 15 kilometres to reach the counselling centre. The issue of the centre being away from the city was raised last year as well. It was alleged that the counselling centre was moved in a bid to boost the fortunes of the college owned by the Karwar MLA. R.V. Deshpande, the Higher Education Minister, said he could not take any action as it would inconvenience the students. Nanum Ilake Mandriagi one verse Shaitri. A city sell lagi the Arnevershi. Hodala, Igale verification of documents from Magadi. 
ಈ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಸೆಲಿನ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಯಾವ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೂ ಸಹ ಅದು ಸಿಟಿಯ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಲಸದ ಮೇಲೆ ದುಷ್ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಕೂಡ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ತಾವೇನು ವಿಚಾರ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈಗ ಯಾವುದೂ ಥರದ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬಹಳ ವಿನಯದಿಂದ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ The minister has promised to look into it before next year. But the big question is, will he? Sandeep Sagar for News 9, Karwar. Now, a U.S. military jet has crashed into homes in the California desert. Now, one home caught fire on a residential street in the city of Imperial following this particular crash. The pilot, however, ejected safely and has been transported to a local hospital. What about the guy supposed to be in there? In fact, a military jet, a Harrier jump jet that is, crashed on a residential street in a Southern California desert community Wednesday evening, setting two homes on fire. The military said the pilot ejected and there was no immediate word on any injuries. The witnesses said two houses caught fire after the crash early Wednesday evening in Imperial, a city of about 15,000 people near the U.S.-Mexico border, about 90 miles east of San Diego. Get out, get out, get out of the way. What about the people from home? Now, it's in fact the second crash in a month of a Harrier jet from the Yuma Air Base. On the 9th of May, a pilot was able to eject safely before his jet crashed in a remote desert area near the Gila River Indian community in Arizona, south of Phoenix. The plane broke into fiery pieces, but no one was injured. What about the guy supposed to be in there? Get out, get out.